In this video, I'm going to show you how to add authentic vintage hatching to a hat illustration using my finest vintage illustrator brushes. As you can see, I've already created the outlines of the hat using a basic vector stroke. Uh, to give these outlines a little more life, I'm going to apply one of my outline brushes to the strokes. To apply a brush to a stroke, simply select one or more of the strokes and I'm going to select all of these outlines here by holding on the shift key as I click, like so. Then go to the brushes tab and simply click on one of the brush icons like so. And as you can see, you've got an instant undulating line. After applying the line, you can adjust the brush's width by changing the stroke width like so. So you can go really fat or really thin. You can also change the stroke colour by adjusting it here, like so. Now it's time to add the texture and to do this I'm going to select the brushes tool which is here, just click on it, and then I'm going to select the shader brush from the brushes tab by clicking on that. Like so. And all I do is draw a single line like that. And now as you can see at the moment, this is facing in the wrong direction. To reverse the direction, we go to the Properties tab and click on this little icon here, which is called Options of Selected Object. And, and we flip across like so. As you can see, that looks much better. And just click OK to confirm the change. And now I'm going to draw another one the other side and again, I'm going to flip it. Now just straighten these up a little bit. As you can see, they look a little bit compressed, so I'm going to elongate the line just to even that out. As you can see, the brushes extend beyond the edge of the hat and we'll fix that later. The next thing I'm going to do is add some horizontal lines across here. So I'm going to select the brush tool again and select the horizontal line brush here by clicking on it and just put that across there. And I'm going to duplicate that so that I've got another one down here so it fills the space as I just mentioned these brushes here extend beyond the hat edge so the next job is to crop these out and we're going to do this by creating a clipping mask now to start with, I'm going to select all of the brush strokes, all of the texture brush strokes here, so all four of them, and I'm going to place them on a new layer. So I'm going to create a new layer and then drag them up there. And I'm going to knock that layer out for now so that we can see the hat outline well. Then I'm going to create another layer, which is above the texture layer, and that's very important. Now I'm going to lock the hat layer because it makes it easier for me to work on the layers above without interfering with the vectors below. And I'm going to click back on the top layer and then select the pen tool and draw a basic shape just around the area that we want to crop. Just like so. So to recap, we have three layers now. We have the box that we're going to use to crop at the top, then we have the texture layer, and we have the outlines. So I'm going to turn on the texture layer, and I'm going to select the box from the top layer, and the entire contents of the texture layer, and I'm going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, and Make. And as you can see, that crops your brush strokes. Now you can still move the individual brush strokes around and edit them as you always would. They just have this clipped area around the outside. 
Now I'm going to add some texture to the bottom of the hat and I'm going to do this pretty much in the same way that I've just shown you. So I'm going to select the brush tool and select the shading brush here and just draw a line like that. Now I think I would like the stroke to be slightly thinner so I'm going to switch to a 0.75 there here and get a bit more texture. And I'm just going to create another clipping path. So I'll knock that layer out, layer out second. And I'm going to use the pencil tool this time because it gives me a more fluid outline. There we are, just roughly down. I can neaten it up in a minute. There we are. Now I'm going to turn that layer back on. And again, making sure the path that is the clipping path is above the brush stroke. I'm selecting that path and the brush stroke by holding down the shift key. And going back to the menu, object, clipping path, and make. And I'm going to adjust that ever so slightly. And I can see that the clipping path here hasn't quite reached the edge. So you can adjust the clipping path after applying it as well, like that. Now I'll just skip ahead while I do the next bit of texture here because it's pretty much the same principle and using the same brush. And then I'll show you how to do the final bit of texturing. As I add the final piece of texture, I want to demonstrate how to build up tone using multiple brushes. So I'm going to start with the brush tool here and select these light vertical lines and draw a pretty straight line there. And then on top of them, I will add some horizontal lines. Which I want to run parallel to the line of the hat, like so. And then a set of diagonal lines on top of this. Now I'll add a set of diagonal lines in the opposite direction just to add the final piece of tone. Now I'm just going to skip ahead as I create the same thing for the other side as you don't need to see me do it twice. And you've probably guessed by now that the final stage is to create another clipping mask. So I'm going back to the pencil tool and I'm going to create a new layer here and just draw my nice basic shape and just knead it up a tiny bit. And I'm going to select that layer and all the texture below it. And again, go to Object, Clipping Mask and Make. And there you have your very own vintage hat.